For some reason the audio wasn't coming through. background hit thanks man yeah flip side tactics hooked it up can you hear the game sound It's going to be nimble the whole time. Sub-Zero, Reptile's worst matchup. Good way to start the stream off, right? At least this isn't uh, Grandmaster. Reptile. I've come for you, Ice Demon. You toy with death. Round one. Fight. Wait, what was that? This one's <laughs> jump right in the first ball. Yeah, you can't do that. That's not safe on Sub Zero. You gotta test him though. This guy's gonna wake up all the time. Wake up slides. He's one of those. What's up, Genocide? How's it going, man? Wins. <laughs> that was a real, the sexy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, show, huh? Uh, this is a uh, drunken master. You don't really see drunken master too often. I wonder if he actually knows what he's doing. Yeah, I don't know. 
don't know much about Far Cry Twelve Three, so I know he's got some overheads and lows and stuff. I don't know what overhead. Yeah. That's all right. His combos do hurt pretty bad. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Reload. I know he throws up if he doesn't. Uh, I cannot do his combos. I don't know. Shouldn't have gone for that. That's you it's too, much from me, too to laggy for that. Fight. For the most part, you can zone bar I show out, I feel like, the reptile. You gotta be careful because of the ground stomp thing, of course. But, um, you can see that it's gonna be fine. Uh, everyone gets hit by the 441 stutter. The plus, the Oh, what? I guess I didn't type it fast enough. Oh, overhead. Okay. Reptile wins. Uh, genocide. Uh, here. One sec, buddy. Yeah, I should be going to Combo Breaker. Yeah. Bone. Yeah. I think so too, Perm. I'm pretty sure that Bone Ride Show uh, can get turned out by a lot of characters. But he can be pretty tough, you know. Especially with uh, the stomps. And his damage is still ridiculous. Why does Why do all the DLC characters do so much damage? It's like they didn't get their scaling or something. Round one, fight! More oh, Raiden. Hey, Genocide, I just got your request. Oh, I saw it. I don't get notifications on my PlayStation, though. Okay, so we got to go with here. Got the flashy stuff. Okay, 43%. No, con I don't know. Cannot move on mine. 90 MS. Okay, we're we're approaching we're approaching it. With what feels like more input delay, but I don't know. Ooh, okay, hold on. Bring down, spit. I so you, you have enough time to spit there, and then if you would have woke up with the. Uh, Superman, I would have been able to block it. So that's what I did. Looks dumb, I know, but it is on purpose. And with Noxious, you can actually have enough time to activate the gas and then block. So, so that's fine. Like oh, didn't want to wake up. And that's just an overhead and reptile stream. Imagine that. Huh? 4 4 1. I think, really, though. In um, high level, the only thing that opens people up a lot is forward four slide and do it enough until you can get forward four one because people will start going down just because they're so scared of it. I swear I can get it like three times in a row on somebody and they they'll just you know keep taking the knockdown. The Deceptive has something pretty dirty that I'm going to show you guys like next next stream I'll play Deceptive the whole time. I got something new for knockdowns. It's pretty great. Faction battle. 
Billionaire Reese. Okay. 766 wins. All right. I respect that. I'm nowhere near that. And he plays sub zero. Oh no. Scorp. I don't know about you guys, but does it seem like uh, probably at least 50 to 60 percent of online players either play Sub Zero or Scorpion? Just no matter what, because that's that's what I feel like I run into a lot. Out of my round one. And the Scorpions always, are, a lot of them are very teleport happy. So if I can go to confirm into the dash. Pressure. Hellfire pressure. Oh. He's, he's dealing with the 116 MS struggle. Just like me. It's spiking though, so it makes me feel like he's on the wireless. It's still miles better than the other speeds. Yo, I gotta stop it. I can't be going for this. Ball. I used to feel like no. I used to feel like I had a psychic feeling on when someone was gonna press a button, so I would claw. But back early on, I don't know if you guys knew this. Early on, Reptile's EX claw was really hard to punish, and then they made it more punishable. And I'm talking really early game, because I've been playing Reptile like, since day one, of course. So. Uh, oh, I don't know what happened there. Maybe did they just whip him? Anyway, I used to be able to throw it out a little more often, and now it's like you gotta be super careful, and I still have a bad habit. I think all reptile players do. We kind of have to throw it out sometimes. Oh, I tried to react to the other head. Just didn't let off down. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's right. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Both trying to see, like, when, when we're available to jump. So, that, that Scorpion is better than most. Reptile wins. Ashner. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, you learned everything you know from me. Reptile Prime, that's a really cool name. Have I ever fought Milky? Yes, uh, I did fight Milky at NEC. Uh, me and Milky played uh, the Mirror at NEC. Uh, just uh, casuals having fun, and we also played with J360. Uh, we all, you know, go back and forth. I feel like. Uh, Milky, J360, and myself are some of the best reptiles that travel. Of course, there's so many reptiles out there. The Mexican, what's up, bro? You're one of the best reptiles, for sure. We're definitely one of the best number reptiles, like, hands down. Um, there's so many good reptile players out there, like, online, but as far as ones that travel uh, pretty consistently, I would say myself, Milky, and J360 are, uh, you know, trying to stay relevant. It's hard with this character, man. You know, no reptiles have made top eight this year. Fight. It's it's a uh, it's been tough since all the patches, all these other characters getting better and DLC. DLC where they're at, you know how they 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 came in and just shot up the tier list. It's lagging so hard. I don't know. I'm trying to get reptile dash. I'm getting four two. Oh, he keeps walking in the It sucks because if you have an instinct to block, and. Oh my gosh, it's so like. Uh, you have an instinct to block, and. And it will, of course, you can't, but I still have the instinct to do so. 
Smash! Who gives a damage? Really, you gotta think Ooh. differently when you play Nimble. You gotta... You gotta think about jumping and how you're gonna jump Look up and back or back dash or something to like avoid certain wake ups. Oh, the lag is real. This Millennium player is not bad though. I, I can tell he knows what he's doing. I just can't do it too great. Sometimes. Wow, that was a good mix up. Well, it's like that. Oh, is that not punishable? This is definitely one of my favorite stages. I'm probably gonna do the I'll do the stage fatality if I win, if I can move. Okay. I only got something. Oh, he's pressing buttons. <laughs> We're playing the Pokemon. Now I'm pressing the stuff. Stop poking him. Alright, I'll just respect him. Dang. I thought that was gonna oh, end right here, honestly. No, that's just do the lag, I guess. There we go. That's what I like to do against Melina. Like, if she does do. Ooh, if she does do the. Oh my god! Please! Yeah. Dive kick, and you don't know. You don't know, so you don't know if oh, Melina's gonna. Good, good job. Uh, you're not sure if she's going to throw a sigh or not, and whenever she does, uh, no matter what she does, if she doesn't throw a sigh or whatever she does, you can input the armored claw and you're going to punish her. So it's a good option for sure. Hey, what's up, Plague's Girl? How's it going? Yeah. It's better to do 421 or 441 than all the best for Oh yeah, thanks for Reptile Prime. You playing against K Bread? Yeah, Mexican will play soon. I'm down. I'm gonna stream like all ranked for. I'm trying to see if I can make it to the two hour mark, and then after that, I'm down. Reptile. Yeah, Genocide. The Mexican 3765 is a really good reptile player. Tribal. He's awesome. Like, he is. Uh, he's probably one of the best nimble reptile players I've ever played against. Actually, I think uh, me and the Mexican, whenever we played, um, he was like, he and I, we kind of, I think we played like 10 matches or something, and then, then we like went into the lab, and I'm pretty sure I recorded the whole thing. I should just upload that so you guys can see how good he is. But he has his own channel and stuff, too. Is he as good as Perm? Uh, I don't, Perm's like a, Perm's a champion, so it's kind of tough. Smoke players, huh? You know we're back at the cove. I can, yeah. Okay, we made it to 100 MS, guys. Inferior. Overhead. Risky stuff. This, uh, this character's real great. You know, super fair. Got a great design. <laughs> Just like everyone, I guess. All the DLCs, I guess. All that vortex and free stands. Seems, seems like a good idea. Totally break the system of the game, the wake up system. Let's just forget about it. Yep, here's the vortex. I don't know, he probably didn't mean to do that, but did you see how I didn't, I couldn't even punish that. The uh, 441 punish for the spear, it was like right on him and it didn't punish. Yeah. People don't want to respect uh, the back two sometimes. It is plus one on block. Uh, what you can do if you think a rough top player is gonna, if you think a rough top player is gonna do back two into the four two one. Geez, okay, got. Got up that again. If you think that a rough top player is gonna do back two four two, just start throwing out some of your passive normals and you'll actually beat out his four two. I gotta do it a lot in the mirror in order to be rough top players to do that. We all have that habit. So there's spirit and no, and no punish again, are you kidding me? There we go. This is hard. 
it's hard to actually get that bonus to go off. I, I, I punished it quite a bit. Like, I was playing some more players that final round and it was fine. Yeah. Some people get annoyed with the low, so they, they, they tend to go down and block low, and then it's over at all the time. Is he as good as Perm? Uh, oh yeah, Perm, you know. I think it's Happy Town. He is really good along with that Pro Center. Yeah, I remember uh, that Pro Center had his uh, kind of ESL appearance where everyone got hyped. But uh, for for the um, second. As far as the Nimble Reptile community goes, we all kind of knew. Like, we we all knew about all the stuff that he was doing. We were all doing it. It's just, it never gets showcased because Reptile players typically don't make it into the finals. Faction battle. But it's cool that he did. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but Europe has some pretty freak players, though. No offense. There are, I mean, of course, you, you guys know. Foxy and ketchup and mustard and some of those other guys are they're so great but there are a lot of a lot of guys in Europe that I, I just feel like there's and I'm not even trying to be biased I'm just trying to be honest like there's a there seems to be a lot more American players that are really good and have really leveled up lately Like Perm, for example. <laughs> Perm, BGP Perm. They do oh, no longer. I, I don't really like this war costume too much, guys. Fight. Don't want to respect the force ball, I guess. Yeah, see, when the force ball hits, you gotta you gotta hold it for a second sometimes. There's a little bit of block time that comes with it. So if a reptile player lets the force ball go and then runs up to you, um, he's gonna he's got a good chance of starting up some normals if you have to. You're, you'll need to like arm it for him. Okay, let's see. The board got something going, maybe. Yep. Okay, there's a good combo here. Of course I'm gonna wake up slide. Gotta bet it all, right? Fight. I was thinking maybe I could get out of the corner of this round. Oh, nice injured feet. For the most part you can zone the aura. I'm, I'm doing it poorly here. I need to wait. The reptile can, can zone more pretty well. That pedal isn't enough for her to compete in zone more. I probably use, uh, honestly, I think against the war, nimble is good, but deceptive is so good to answer to. Knuckles. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, what I like seeing is uh, I like seeing what is it the the broodmother Devoras? Those are so cool to see because they have some cool setups and they're so rare. There was actually a broodmother Devora that he played at um, where was it? it was at NEC. I had to play him in pools and he he actually beat newbie in pools and I was like wow this is gonna suck because I don't know anything about Devora or anything about uh, especially Broodmother and he, it was tough. I, I don't know how I scraped away with the win on that one, but he's a really cool guy. I I know he I got his contact info. I'll have to figure out uh, what his name was because I'm forgetting it right now. You always do back two into four two one. It usually gets people, but it is a bad habit. Yeah, Reptile Prime for sure. Like People, they get, they'll get beat by that quite a bit at first, but once you really figure out how to deal with that, uh, it's, it becomes more of a mind game for sure. 
Okay, so we got a Cassie player. A lot of people think that Cassie fell off, but I think she's still fine. I don't really know why, you know, like I mean I know I know why they think she fell off, but she's still such a great character. That's not even what I wanted. It's okay. Oh, welcome low. This is so hard to get around. Still so nice. guys, you can't complain too much. It's much better than it was. I throw out some funky strings. Oh, good into P again. That people are on it today. <laughs> I'm playing like it's Noxus. I'm trying to get in there and, and just finish it. Round two. Fight. These other variations are reptile. Please stop unplugging your core, bro. That's this is wireless. The ping doesn't even represent how bad it is right now. It's funny with Reptile, you can play like a zoning game for sure. Like he, whenever you hit somebody full screen and then activate an inboard like this, uh, you can just uh, he knows to shoot. Okay. So you can spit a little bit and then duck and you become like a really good zoner with Nimble on like that. And it was meterless, so, you know, no big deal. Just end combos with spit and then activate it on a lot of characters. I can't really do anything about it. Jumping right in for this ball. Hey. In the corner do I ever do 4412 into 141? what I do. Reptile. Does better Reptiles. damage, I think. Yeah, uh, I do 141, and I sometimes I do 441 into the down three, either one. But online just feels kind of difficult to get either. Uh, I have an online combo where I just do um, whatever the opener is, like say the opener is back two. So I'll do um, back two, uh, 441, No, I'll do back to 141, 441, meter burn claw, 4412 slide. And it's it's only 38%, but it's like actually uh, very consistent and it works offline and online. So it's kind of cool if you want to burn meter and still get close to that 40%. can't wait to show you guys some deceptive stuff. Deceptive is really, it's really, really um, got something that I I didn't really explore enough early on. Even though deceptive, it did get nerfed, uh, it, it has something really cool uh, that you can do for the major knockdowns that you actually get. Apple King. Round I hope this guy's one. good. Fight. Uh, oh, also, I feel like this guy. Um, lag. Uh, I feel like with Leatherface, he's kind of a guy you can zone out to. I know he's got the pretty lady stance, and I don't have much experience against that one because everyone is just playing this one. But. Uh, you definitely can play a zoning game in the time against the other face. I mean, yeah, he's scary when he does get in. It's kind of like Jason. Oh, he jumped right into it. Okay. Alright. Yeah, Apple King, he's gonna have to get. He's gonna have to do his 1 2 cancels and get in. You gotta 1 2 into the unblockable. The signature one two what's up dude? Okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, see, I'll just do the spit ender, try to keep him out here. I get the zone, build all this meter, not that I need it. But this guy, he's, he's not like super great. He's probably gonna get the, the tech. You guys ready for the tech? Did you know Nimble can do invisible mix ups? Did you guys know that? <laughs> Yeah, of course, yeah. I never use Meter Burn Claw in the corner, but I should. Yeah, uh, Meter Burn Slide does more damage, of course. Meter Burn Claw doesn't uh, help so much in the damage, but it's not that much difference. It's really consistent. It does take kind of a while to find people. Challenge okay. accepted. 185 could be kind of laggy. We'll see. Sometimes, sometimes that number seems to not really reflect how bad or how good the match is. All right, show again. Okay, Bartitz. This one, I feel like, I feel like this is a really good one. This variation of All Right Show has like the range so that he can play footsies but also uh it kind of has like some mix-up elements to it and, it and it has two restands because the fart restands but also he can use the the staff the cane thing to restand as well round one fight <laughs> yep the mix up so that was that was mid overhead low and of course I wasn't blocking, so I just pressed the button, you know I mean? I'm gonna try to, I wanna try to show him out, I wanna try to show him that I can do it. Um, we'll have to see if he starts uh, stopping. Yeah, see, with that, with that cane, he's got the range to do a lot of what he wants to do. He can be comfortable in that mid close, close and the mid range two, for sure. Fight. Okay. Also, the oh, man, I got mixed up. By the, or I didn't really get mixed up. I know there's an overhead there. I just didn't stand up in time. Again. Okay. Ooh, that was pretty good. That felt like a meaty setup or something. Okay, I think he tried to wake up. Maybe he didn't get his meter. Again. I know, I know what it is. I just I'm not letting off the down. And I'm lagging out hard at 215 MS. Can't land any combos, huh? There we go. Okay. Oh, that should have been a punish. I don't I guess it didn't time it right. Uh, what is the best way to convert off four four slide in the corner? Uh, yeah, yeah. Me to burn slide. Uh, for me, let's see. I like four four B to burn slide. I like to do two down threes and then four four one two slide. That's my favorite way to convert off that. If you want to be pretty efficient, you know, not using uh, too many bars of meter. Faction battle. Alien. Acidic alien. All right. Perfect. I really like acidic alien, but it's just so hard for me to um, to really want to use him with his his normals are are slower a little bit you know but i mean you can't really deny his footsies are so good i just like how fast reptile Round is I, i'm fight. gonna play alien i just still spending time with reptile i don't want to i don't want to let him go i don't know what it is he's just always he's always been my favorite character so i'm always gonna play him no matter what but I might stop using him in tournaments. 
uh, here pretty soon. Especially if we don't get any changes. I mean, there's... I can pretty much guarantee you guys we're not going to get Rough Mouth and Top 8 this year. Evo's coming up. It's like the next... It's like the next four, four or five majors where we'll have Evo already. So, I think it's the next four after four more. Um, which is like... Model Breaker, Midwestern Championship, CEO, something else. Uh, Texas Showdown. Look at this lag. Please. Please let me move. Oh, we're frozen for it. Oh, okay. He's quitting. Yeah, um. Oh, okay, I always try one and the last slide doesn't connect. Thanks. Yeah, Reptile Prime, when you do two, uh, it feels like it just makes it easier. I know it, it's a little bit harder to time, especially online, but offline, I feel like doing two is really not that bad. Faction battle. This guy, Devin. Filling my drinks, you guys. I was trying to work on a uh, on a be right back stream, like a be right back break thing. Uh, it kind of is going to have like tournament highlights from me playing all the games I've ever played, all the way back to like you know Street Fighter Four hey, stuff and PlayStation All Stars, just all the stupid games that everyone didn't Not like. Soul Calibur 5. Um, but it, it's cool. It's going to be like a little highlight reel slash break screen. And uh, I'll have that soon. Right now I still have the old one loaded up in here. So I'm going to make sure it still works. But it's it's just a... It's just like a test. Like it's not really um, what it's going to look like. It's kind of like Soul Calibur. So lucky. This is good. This way you can get a full car, and wake up, you can still walk it. I'm all about that. I'm all about getting force balls out and then still being able to walk. Because if you can get a force ball out and walk and wake up, then it creates so many options for you. Rolling. Rolling in the mud. Oh, yep. That was a good wake up. I didn't know if he was like antsy enough to do that. There we go. Uh, we kind of missed a convert, but we it up. Yeah. That was one of those psyche breeds. Oh, yeah, you can't punish me with that. That's, that's really hard for people to punish whenever you are sitting nimble like that, or if you're in fast and smart. The respect. Um, when you are in Vasquez mode like that, and you, you do a dash and it gets blocked, like, go ahead and just do a down three. Wait. No one's, no one's gonna mess with you. Like, you can, you can pretty much make it happen for sure. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Yabble dabble, do.
Action Battle. Sorry, my mic wasn't on. <coughs> Sorry, um, losing my voice. Uh, Gatalero, that's uh, kind of an older montage that I was working on. It's it's gonna be a lot better than that. your race's extinction. <clears throat> the threat of it makes me dangerous. You evoke a zero, pity, huh? not round one. Great. Fight. Take a chance, yeah. You're gonna give me a chance to slide in, for sure. I was expecting him to head. <clears throat> came out for me. <clears throat> I'm gonna get him guys, watch, I'm gonna get him. Just gotta get warmed up. You gotta get warmed up for Grandmasters. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna slide. He's kind of a smart, a little bit of a smarter grandmaster. Nope. As soon as I say that, that one he could have slid, but see, I scared him already because he got blocked once. Head. And they're not <clears throat> they're not making clones anymore and they're they're moving towards you that, that's when you know you won they're jumping and jumping out instead of sitting back by their clone they're jumping over it and punching <clears throat> he's, he's sitting here thinking oh my god bro top so good this is so dumb so cheap, I can't believe he can punish me. Reptile wins. Can punish you for 8%? You guys happy about that? 8% on a punish for a slide? <laughs> that's what that's what we're gonna cry about. That's that's what we'll choose to cry about. I thought I could punish anything in the game. And get 8%, bro. Get on ya. Yeah, full 8%, yeah. All of it. <clears throat> Sometimes uh, you can put a force ball out, sure. Some characters. Some characters, you can't slot, meet them or slide. Put a force ball on the screen and not get punished by their wake up, so. Faction battle. Oh yeah, St. Patty's Day. Oh, this guy. He's had a rough start. 47 losses. <clears throat> Sub zero. No. Who's he gonna pick? Raiden. Raiden, okay. Raiden's never, he's not that hard. He can do stuff about force balls, but, you know, it's, it's still a kind of a guessing game between us, for sure. Long have you played Doubt World? Round one, fight. Oh, 
What did he wake up for? So I was just kind of backing up to see. Could you not see me? Round two. Fight! He wanted something. I don't know what he was doing there. He's getting out of space on his jump now. <clears throat> oh, good poke. I think maybe he was just pressing buttons. Oh my god. See, that's a punish normally if we were offline. Now just punish him a little bit. I was gonna go meet him and slide there, rush out front, just to do that combo. <laughs> Reptile wins. So, what are you guys upset about with reptile nerfs? <laughs> what What are you upset about with no reptile buffs? Huh? You upset? Are you upset about that? Are you upset that Alien can do puddles meterless? That do the same, will do the better effect? You can't even run over Aliens. Uh, oh my gosh. What were they thinking? <clears throat> you give Alien a, a puddle you can throw out on his block string. That's that the puddle is better than Reptile's meter burn usage of the move. Triborg. Stupid. Reptile. Meter burn puddle is the dumbest, like, it doesn't help any of the variations. Just, give, just take that move out and just give, like, each variation a new down forward one. Something that it could do, I don't know. Because we got, first of all, we didn't get very much difference on the variations. Second, all the reptiles are the same. I'll provide you a sample. I'll take all I wish. What's your Sector is kind of tough. Round one. Uh, Sector reptile has always been kind of difficult. Because you can't just live on the throw force balls in the neutral. You, only, you really only have a chance on knockdowns. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, I'm just kind of freestyling here. <clears throat> I don't really see how many roundhouse kicks that I can land. <laughs> like, I think you could do like four. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Damn it, I'm coming back. Everyone falls for that. I gotta stop doing that, that was really risky. Four for one, two claw. I knew it, Boss Boy. Boss Boy 22. Probably the best scorpion online. Rolling in trash? Respect me, human. 
I'm serious, you smell awful. Round one, fight! <laughs> I guess this is what? Hey. This guy is here. Hold him up. You smell of desperation. Somebody take the wheel. Two. Fight. <laughs> Somebody take the wheel for a boss wheel. Oh, somebody. An answer from above. The comebacks. <clears throat> wow, that hurt to watch. Oh, you're done. Oh my god. Sorry, getting late. Late for me. I've been up since super Rip early this morning. Wins. I'm talking 6 a.m. boys. What up, Fifth? What's good, man? I, we haven't got to play, like, ever. Yeah, yeah, if I want to play sometime, I mean, I'm trying to stream this, uh, this certain, I'm trying to make it to like two hours of rank to see if I can actually do it, if my body can take it. And, um, yeah, like, I'll, I'm down to play some after that, maybe, if I'm not too tired. I got a flight early in the morning, though. <clears throat> Going to Ohio. Ohio, boys. It's going to be colder there. Cyber Plague. Cassie, the best Cassie. All Cassie, everything. All his logos. Oh, what? <clears throat> that could probably be as much as one of them. Okay. Got some Zekro combos here. I guess that was cool. Oh, maybe for not. Not for me. Catch us. You need setups to cover all. Yeah, man. Fierce, I like Nimble. It's, it's pretty great. <laughs> it's definitely uh, good for a while.
wins. Taking forever, huh? How was how was your day, Fifth? Stream, you guys have a good day today. It's getting, it's getting close to holidays, right? So, I mean, some most of us were off Friday. Reptile. Please play reptile. Oh, he's gonna play Kodal. Dang. I love playing the Reptile Mirror. It's it's pretty fun, especially and you can play it the Mirror with different variations of Reptile too, and it's like that makes it so fun. I want to play Cosner again. That's like the most fun I had. Me and Cosner played at Evo uh, in my hotel room for like a long time. Like me and Miguel and the Gods guys came through. It was so fun. It was hilarious. Oh god, he's still great with damage. But played Alucard Sun God a lot. Yeah. Oh, Alucard played Jax and he's gotten the crisis for a little bit. And then he just kinda was like, you know what? I'm gonna focus more on Street Fighter V. Give him can't break. And I was like, yeah, but it's gonna get stupider, so it's probably a good idea. <laughs> The backdash game is not sick. Round two. Fight. Zone and Kodal in slow motion. This is how it works. So. Okay, getting random buttons you don't want. That's how it works. Okay, we got the overheads going. Good stuff. Thanks. Now you're kind of getting zoned, bro. I don't, oh, I don't know. You're going to get some of those zoned, bro. I don't know if you can do anything about this. Too much stuff. Too much stuff on the screen. Fine. Banks, the kid. Fine. Yep, okay. Spent your one bar meter now. What's it going to be like out there with no meters, you know? Not so good. Come on, Banks. You can't let those whiff and still get hit. Come on. You got a six frame poke. Yeah. Banks. Banks. <laughs> you used to be able to connect back to EX. Yeah, something. Yeah, I know. That was all. Yeah, you have the four four dash down, and nimble. Yeah, I, I like nimble. I I like that combo. The four four one two. Um. Uh, the ex nimble, and then I'll do like uh, four two meter burn dash, or four. You can do four two reptile dash, and then you can start up the four four reptile dashes, and it's really good and easy, and covers a lot of distance too. <clears throat> so I like that, uh, but it's I can't do that online. Like I, it's it's something I haven't practiced much online. But uh, yeah, all those combos are great. I'll have to show you. Like oh, I'll, I'll show you some of me playing nimble offline because I can actually do them offline, and I'll upload it to my YouTube or I'll stream it next time somebody actually like wants to come over and play MKX, which is like never because this game is like. Getting worse. Because the characters are getting nerfed or not buffed, and then the DLC are sweeping in to, uh, to go right to the front of the line, the top of the tiers. Okay, I like fighting Devora. Like Devora is pretty fun to fight for sure. Quite a bit of lag here. 
Pipe it up, pipe it up. Okay, yep. He's one of those. Biff, he's one of those. I knew it. Yep. Easily. You know what I'm talking about. He's the West Coast. Yeah, Avocado. He's West Coast, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, come on. I've been. It's gotta be low key one of the better characters. Oh man, I, I thought it was gonna be close. Ridiculous. Well. The screen didn't hold up. Oh, look, look at him. He's, he's respecting. Yep. Not so good. Oh, wake up. Out meter. Confident in that. The combos with out meter when you drop them, but you work. This is okay. I'm hit by the force ball. Not so good, bro. Not so good. Yeah. Get out. Yeah. What a waste of your meter. Now we both don't have meter. And I'm stamina. I think you're getting some combo going. I don't know what you're doing. I'm just pressing buttons on the controller because I'm that confident. Oh my gosh. Finally got the meter. Thank you, my friend. This round. Oh, Got the man, game. sorry guys. It slipped. The button, the R2 of the PS3 uh, controller because it doesn't rip. <laughs> oh, nice back there. He's, he's not going to be the clutch game. I mean, longer. okay, okay, okay. Aaron by his own admission, that's his bad. Yeah. Oh, definitely not clutch here. Yeah. Definitely don't understand Reptile can that one, but you want to try it. Just, yeah, you just are tempted. Tempted to see that. Oh yeah, so I got the knockdown. I'll probably win. Trading horse. Keep going for us. Uh, super slow stuff. Wow, he actually did a good thing. Alright. See the meter burn. Fast force ball coming out. Being real slow. Dash ups. The whole, the whole shebang from the turn of the game. Wins. What? No, it's just, it's not, I mean, they shouldn't even be dissing each other. After it's slow acid ball, dash, if I hit them with 4 4 minus 1, 1 4, activate regular for a nimble punish. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Fierce, you know what's up. Dang. You're, are you, Fierce, you're definitely on board with the. Have you been playing Reptile since day one? Fierce? Fierce, if you're there. Um, did you play Reptile in MK2? Because... That was toilet tier. That, that was an all-time low in my life. MK2? That's MK2 was, you know, I was about eight years old. I hit rock bottom. <laughs> rock bottom of the tier list. Down there where you fight Kung Lao or you fight Katana and MK2 with Reptile, just hang yourself with the controller and go. It's done. Whatever you can do, get out of it. It's a bad habit to play MK2 with Reptile. That's for sure. You don't want to go down that road. Okay, so... Did he... Yeah, Killer. Killer is just like the most popular... Um, variation, I guess. And I think Butcher might even... I think Butcher is like better than... The Killer, I'm pretty sure. And, I, and people just... They're loving Killer, though. Yeah, I always like that too here. I don't know what it is, it's just a green ninja, but I really wish he had a human skin, and that really pissed me off. That the classic reptile skin, he still has a dumb bird. Like, it's so dumb. <clears throat> the costume already doesn't look as cool as, like, the DA costume. Like, I'm talking Deadly Alliance, like, what he was wearing, not what he looked like. That was probably the coolest reptile costume. Yeah, that yeah, was definitely cool. I remember it now. I remember how it was. Uh, it was 
colored. So yeah, this guy kind of just wants to get zoned out on 89 MS. We can have a swift landing here. Just sit tight, keep the seatbelt sign on. Why is it rep I know, why does it Reptile have a classic fatality? What are they doing to us, guys? We were the first to get, like, a costume for free. Or something like that. And and now we're getting robbed? Fight. How's that work? Oh, man. That's the only thing that'll hit me. I, I could have jumped back, I guess. I could have been a little further out from that. That's what Tomo did. There we go. I actually should just jump back and press the buttons. Okay. Still on the low block. Not, not the best idea. Oh man, I know. I haven't played the time enough. Just let us sit here chilling. I got my finger on down for no reason. Forget. Makes me so mad too, Reptile Prime, I know. I hate that we don't have a classic fatality, and I hate the how we look. <laughs> we need a human ninja reptile skin. NRS, come on. You can do that. You can make that happen for sure. It doesn't it doesn't even have to be um, free. Like I I'd buy it. Just like that's, you know, pretty crazy. Everyone I talk to, they say the same thing. They're like, man, I wish Reptile had a human ninja skin. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Did you play the PC mod? And everyone loved it. The PC modded version had, like, the Reptile skin. It was really just recoloring, but it just looked, like, so much better. And there was a... And there was, like, they copied over Ermax and made it green or something. He plays that, too. Yeah, a character like Alien. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Fierce. Yeah, you mentioned that earlier, didn't you? Like, or somebody did. They were saying, yeah, what's up with the differences in puddle between Alien and Reptile having to use a bar? Like, come on. Yeah. Round one. Fine. Like, Y'all are making Reptile like such a nerd right now. Yeah, you kind of do this to Cassie players, kind of. Well, but, like, Yeah, and you can do that too on lockdown. They don't have a way to cut the gonna hit you. Once again, just not, not wanting to cooperate here on the force wall exchanges. Not one bit. Damn it, I'm pressing buttons. Need the shield, need the shield. Let's put him back over here towards the corner a little bit. Round two. Fight! No, what? what is there, there was no reason to do that. It's like you did standing one and the cartwheel. Like, you only want to do like a mix up and just walk around, I think. It wouldn't be good for pressure to do standing one and then do something that's like magnet. And that and pushes you that way back. Maybe, maybe you do that and do it back or something. Like, you know, like, you know, the back row. How did I know you were going to shoot? Oh man, I can't believe I got uppercut it though. Jeez. Came out quick. It takes forever. Holy shnikes. It's... 
Mission battle. Okay. At least this guy likes to party. St. Patrick's Day. Okay. He partied hard. He's uh, he's kind of getting up. He's he's already had his Bloody Mary. You know, he's like, let's get started with this day where I don't have to do much. But I'm trying to do Oh, Sector. Please be Sector. I need Sector experience. Me and Justin, uh, there's a guy named Justin JJ. Um, JJ, if you're watching the stream or you're watching the YouTube video, we got to play. I, I totally forgot that we had some time to play today because uh, I was doing stuff with my fans. It's like Easter stuff, and then I'm going out of town. So we got to play soon, though. Units. Awesome. Round one. Fight. Sector, um, he, he may get reptiles from problems, but really don't know. It, whenever someone takes away a reptiles from like four fall options in neutral, it's always somewhat of a problem. But, you know, I feel maybe if you just respect Sector and play this right, maybe it's not too bad. I don't know. I know he's not he's not gonna break my armor very often or anything like that, so that, that makes the match feel a little better. I do gotta respect that wake up call. He's he's really the only robot that wants to do wake up, so. I I feel like Sector is like the really new robot. That's all three and another one will give us what we rightfully deserve. Yeah. I know. We should. Reptile Prime, if you write the tweet up, I'll retweet it, copy and paste it as my own tweet. <laughs> Whatever. We gotta tell them what's up. Nobody liked these reptile skins. Like, nobody wanted this. We wanted human version. The real classic. Okay, please accept. Challenge accepted. It's, oh man, 164. Oh, this guy's from Japan, no wonder. It's gonna be tough. Nimble boys. Kung, Kung Jin. Jin. I know about Kung Jin for sure. I know VGP. Perm. Best Kung Jin. And Slayer's right underneath VGP. Perm. Right there. They're almost on the same level of uh, Kung Jin's. For sure. Uh, DJT's Kung Jin's really good too. Though. Damn, there's, there's like, so there is like, like uh, four gods in the game. I'm trying to have a, a big ass group. I didn't even actually want to go around. I think I just hope that uh, this guy's having a great time. Wow, good drop, bro. Super good drop. OP. No fraud in. So you guys can call me when I'm, whenever I'm doing real bad, just, just call me Ofradian. What a fraud. Or, or call me Ofridian. Like getting hit by that x-ray, that was free, right? Just call me Ofrid for short. Okay, come Jim. Yeah, they did. <laughs> you needed to NJP there, of course. And then, flip it. That's... This guy's got a new good strap. Takes a one poke back, I guess. Right. Oh my gosh, this combo online is never gonna work in my life. Still, still kind of pissed about that. Yeah, Galileo, you know about classic skins. I remember talking to you about it too. You were the, one of the first people I started saying that to. Remember, I was I was streaming like on my Xbox. I was it was like back I wasn't even sponsored or something, and like uh, I was like, why did the classic skin not come out as a human skin? What happened? 
that doesn't make any sense. Like, you guys I, I were either lazy or not. I mean, not even lazy. They wanted him to have his beak mask bullshit in the classic costume. And that's, there's nothing classic about that. Reptile didn't look like a bird before. Damn it, you know? It's, it makes me so mad. Aaron Black. Aaron Black. Reptile. Okay. Any, oh, Outlaw? Yep, that one is not going to be any good. I think uh, the other one's better against Reptile, honestly. I think uh, Gunslinger. Gunslinger's better against Reptile than, than this one. Reptile. Oh, and bone, bone of Mammy. Bad idea to insult me. Or, oh, Outlaw. Yeah. Oh. Got to pressure down. Oh, no. oh man, it's too early. He comes back to the ground so fast right here in Nimble. It's hilarious. He's jumping. It's like he just comes right back down. Increased gravity or something. Okay, not going down to the blocks. That's smart. Good job, O3. That would be so funny. Y'all should just say that on the stream as soon as you see me mess up the footage or something like that. Like, getting hit by that. You should have just put like O3. <laughs> All free again. He, he totally just spaced out my jump kick. Playing like the train MK9. Jump kicks are actually working like deep jump kicks are normal too. Oh, good slide. He's there. Take it though. Oh, yeah, he's pressing buttons. Uh, oh, he broke. That was a bad break. You need to be the bar for Raider, bro. Now you're gonna lose the round. So sad. We're gonna play the zoning war and you're gonna realize that you don't win it. I don't know if I wanna show you with meter or not yet. Yeah, definitely gonna just come in, but it's okay. I'll show you next round, bro. Ooh, oh, bad breaker again. Dang. Sliding out here, trying to get punished. Calm down. Recuperate. Restrategize. Tell your coach you didn't mean to press that. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Nice, nice. Oh, gonna try to jump out of the corner right now? Not whenever I'm ready. Ready to get those jump kick converts. Okay, he really wants to see. I'm trying to show him. We're getting, we're getting a lot established as you can see in health difference from doing this stuff anymore. And some weird jump kick. When you get punished. He didn't even want to break either. He's just like, whatever. Reptile win. Yeah, no, Reptile Prime, I agree. Reptile should definitely have a throw of brutality. It Reptile's brutalities are not as easy to do as some of the like someone like Trimmer, you know, when it's so easy to get any of these Trimmer fatalities, even secret ones were so easy to do on accident. It's like, geez, Trimmer had a lot of brutalities, and some characters just wanted to get gypped. I guess I don't know. All right. I don't know. I really wish I could just like donate money to NRS as a reptile fund so that we could please get a few of our art choices Action that we would back. like. But, you know, and maybe a, maybe make sure force balls in every single game because not having the force ball sucked ass. We didn't have a force Daily. ball in, in MK4. We didn't have a force ball in uh, MK5 because all we had was like an acid spit. And then finally, uh, by the time we got to uh, what was it? Because um, eight wasn't really. Let's see, six Armageddon. Yeah, it didn't happen in Armageddon. So it went on to MK versus DC, and he wasn't in that. And then MK nine. Yep. So several games after not having a force ball in four or five. So finally getting it back in MK9, it was like a godsend for sure. 
And then I guess they thought it, were too, it was too good, so they slowed it down so much in this game. They, they slowed down the startup of it, and the speed of it, like the speed of the fast one, is way faster. And I'm talking like without leader. Alien kind of likes to get thrown down the four falls, you know, while, while we're in slow down here. Captain Borders. Get the alien off the deck. Oh, yeah, not the best uh, Tarkat impression in the world. I know it's a lot better than that. This guy is still kind of learning. Still freaking out, looking up, and giving me a bunch of meter for some reason. Freely. Thank you very much. Round two. Yeah, yeah, I know about the uppercut fatality and stuff. It looks like uh, one of the older fatalities where like half your body comes off while he's invisible. Like the sex is on the half or something. You guys know what it looks like when Alien is in the film? I don't know, like, I wonder if his head still comes off the same, I like to see if he, he did the proper blood colors, I don't know, stuff like that, I'm weird. Just want to make sure it's all correct. It's good. Yeah, it's fine. You sometimes get the back one brutal? Okay. Yeah, I, I, uh, I never really got that one, actually. Uh, I, there are plenty of times where I've done back ones a lot, like in a match, and um, it's never as like the last thing that hits somebody though. Like I, I play a lot with the back one stutter into the back two, or back one down four claw, or back one down four ex deceptive, and then start some pressure and stuff like that. Um, so I, I do play with it. I just never when someone's about to die, they're always getting like chipped out by something. Or, Reaction punish on sliding or whatever. I, I'll do something like that, and I never get the the tongue brutality. Crazo. Hey, uh, I saw the new Batman Superman movie, guys. It was actually really good. Um, the last hour of it. I'll give you my review for sure. All right, so. This guy. Yeah, okay, I don't, I don't have to pay attention to it. Right. So, uh, in the first hour, maybe hour and a half, actually, of Batman vs. Superman, there's a lot of weird cuts that don't make any sense. Like, they're jumping around to try to tell a bunch of different stories of like, how the public hates Batman, and then, like, another one about how the public hates Superman, and how he's set up, and all this stuff. Then you're just, like, bored as all get out. And then you're, like, right before you're gonna get out of the movie because it sucks, you're like, oh, wait, wait a second, like, Wonder Woman shows up, and all of a sudden this big fight scene ends up happening for, like, 45 minutes, or... You know, no, 30 minutes maybe, and then like 15 minutes of something that happens at the end that I'm not going to talk about. It. But it's good, like from that part. From that part of it. I, I did like it. Yeah, I know. I, when someone's low health, uh, Reptile Prime, like I, <laughs> I come and press back. I never press like back one. Like, I'm always just doing forward four into block strings to try to kill him from chip, so. I had mixed reactions about the film, was expecting better. Okay, yeah, that's fair, man. I I don't know how I feel about it either. I'm kind of just like, it's okay. There, there's something that made me mad, actually. DC is so embarrassed about um, Green Lantern 
that they don't even want to give him cameo appearances like he's going to be in the Justice League. They had cameo appearances in that movie for Cyborg, Aquaman, Flash, uh, Wonder Woman, obviously, she plays a bigger role. Um, and they just, they apparently just don't have a file on Green Lantern, have no idea what he's about. <laughs> so stupid. You're like, you, they should own up to their, their mistake. They should be like, you know what, yeah, we didn't make that great of a movie, it's alright, we're gonna make another one. In a few years, it's gonna be a reboot, it's called Green Lantern Core, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna be all new actors and stuff like that. But so... You, you still like they're, they're not going to own up to it they're going to try to delay that as long as they can until people for, forget about the Green Lantern movie before they start talking about him in any other way what is up with all the aliens do you mock and, me is this alien what I'm talking about, I guess? Fight. yeah man see you at Top Prime until next time bud for days. I'm going to be gone for like a week. Because I'm going to uh, Ohio for a uh, Flipside Tactics uh, event where our Counter-Strike team is. It's like um, an MLB event and they made the uh, event. Uh, I guess like a uh, uh, Yeah. And I'll be like filming games because I film a lot of stuff for FD2. Since I got my film degree. They were like, hey, what's up? So, like, you know about film? And yeah, I was like, yeah. And I sent them a demo reel of some of my edits and stuff. Wow. And uh, they were like, wow, so you can do an MKX and you can like, you can beat Alucard and stuff. Like, but you're also a film guy and, and all this. So it's like really, they were really hyped about that. Technically, he's like, you're kind of like a double-edged sword because like you're a really good fighting game player, but you're also like pretty smart, you got the masters, old guy, kind of a loud one. It'd be great because I, you know, I lost my sponsorship with Epic. Like, Ep Epic sponsorship went out the window because um, they were closing down. So, you know, I couldn't. I couldn't do anything about that. We had to lose Toy too. Toy was a really good player. DC animated movies are amazing. But hey, thanks for the follow, Reptile Prime. Thanks a lot, man. It really means a lot. I want to start streaming more often if I can get a good response. You know, I just I don't like playing online too much. I'm I'm old school. Anyway, um, DC animated movies are amazing, but rely so much on Batman and Superman. Yeah, I agree. Hey, uh, a DC animated movie that just came out, I think today, or I think it was today, um, it's called Justice League vs. Teen Titans. Maybe we should check that out. I kind of want to watch that. Takeda. See if it's any good. I think Damien's in it, so like... You know how cheap they're making Damien. It's like, oh, he's Bruce Wayne's son. And he's already like ten times better than Bruce Wayne at like everything. And he's only a kid, so you know they're trying to make him overpowered by the time he gets old enough to be the new Batman, I guess. Batman's been Bruce Wayne for over sixty years. Never changed. Green Lanterns, we started out with Alan Scott. Had and uh, there was they even tell a story in Alan Scott's uh, origin uh, that there was a Green Lantern before him that was actually a Green Lantern first, like this red guy. And they don't talk to him too much, like since he's they don't talk to him too much. Like, uh, 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 maybe just take that out. But anyway, uh, I don't words. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Lobo would be good to go. Yeah, that's a good idea. Lobo, uh, a Lobo movie to kind of compete and be funny like Deadpool. I think Lobo could be fine with breaking the fourth wall. It would be funny. I don't know if 
he's ever done that before. I feel like he might have to show before. Maybe. Deathstroke at one point in older comics, Deathstroke took out the entire Justice League except for Hal Jordan, because Hal Jordan wasn't there. I think it was like Kyle Rayner. But anyway, um, it is stupid that Deathstroke did that, and Damian Wayne can just like hang with Deathstroke, and he's like ten. No big deal. That's it's really dumb. Man, sometimes it takes so long to find people online. Faction you would think like a good amount of people would, would be online right now. Everyone's, oh, maybe they're gone for the holidays. Not very many people go travel for Easter though. Super bored. Um, okay, so smoke matchup. Uh, you pretty much with smoke after he does two hits. Sometimes he's gonna do something that's actually uh, pretty big in his gap. Like he'll do like two hits into smoke bomb, or like two hits into a phase through or something like that. And um, he's gonna know this gap there. Try to armor it. Pretty much just like eat him fly, that's like the best option. Because if he does teleport behind you, phase through you, then um, the problem with that is if he's gonna phase through you and you're gonna like, you know, say you're like looking at claw, that's gonna suck because that's what he wants you to do, he doesn't want you. But say you did a slide, you can actually slide all the way away from him and uh, you won't be able to like finish you with anything. And also, uh, if he does teleport, like, he'll be able to block in time, because, you know, your front slide recovers so fast. Round two. We're blocking, Fight. like, instantly after doing it. There's, like, literally, like, almost no recovery in it. After the, after the travel time, anyway. Yeah, he's, he's loving this life. I tried to run up and do too long, but I guess no run came out. Oh yeah, he's living this life. He loves it. He wants, he wants to live his whole life. Move, oh my gosh, this online is so good. It, it is good. I just can't oh, see, that's what he wants. He wanted that so bad. Phase through. Normally it's on a block string now. It's like, hold on, let's see if the Clutch King is here. Oh, the Clutch King. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, they normally do a block string into that phase through, and then you're trying to armor a gap, and you're armoring the nothing, because he's phasing. You're armoring the wrong way or something. The best DC movie is Flashpoint Paradox. Yeah, I like that one. 
I actually like that one a lot too. That was a really good one. And um, so I have kids and they like watching Lego uh, animated movies. So when they want to watch like Lego DC stuff, I'm so happy because it's, it's so funny and good. But um, the latest one was something about Brainiac. I don't, I don't know. It's like Chaos in Time or Lost in Time or something. It was a Lego Justice League movie. And it was so funny and so good. Like, definitely recommend it. I think it, it just came out on um, on demand. If you got Verizon Fire. That's what I'm working with. Zappa, the great reptile player. Sub-Zero. Zap is going scorpion, scorpion though. Okay. Scorpion, uh, not that, not necessarily that bad of a matchup for Nimble. Nimble, I think, does really well against Scorpion actually. I really like uh, some of the Green Lantern movies. Fierce. I really like. Um, I, I like all of them actually. Like all the Green Lantern animated movies were really good. Hey, thanks, Rusa, for the follow. I know that was probably from a while ago, but sorry. Oh, yep. See, there, he doesn't really have very many options about that. That closes out. Yeah, I guess this is not the right time. Um, that closes out a lot of the options for Scorpion whenever you just jump four. What in the world is going on? Scorpion is breaking the game. Uh, what is... Is this for real what online is like all the time? Just freezing? You don't know if you're... Yeah, yeah, Zappa. Okay, so it's with a four that he does his name. I, I met Zappa before. Uh, but yeah. So he plays Shinnok and Reptile. Yeah, I remember he he was kind of playing Shinnok more because he was like, you know, Reptile's not any good. And I was like, yeah, I know. It's really hard to win with him. This was back when, like, Claw was unsafe. It was so bad. Couldn't build meter. It, everything sucked. But anyway, uh, he was using Shinnok for a while, and then he went back to Reptile, and he kind of has both right now. But I think he focuses a lot on other things. Like he doesn't just mainly focus on MKX, like like me, Milky, and J360. Like he he's like uh, focused on doing other games, and streaming other games, and you know, just keeping up with all of that, like keeping his stream work up. Because I know you I mean some people make a living off of streaming, which is is crazy. It'd be great if that that's something I could actually do. Because I would love to stream and talk to you guys about movies and just play MKX for sure that would be great I just have to I'd have to really like I'd, I'd have to survive off little donations and I think I can get a subscribe button on my channel um, I can Flipside's gonna just hook it up for me because we're, we're uh, part of the show. they got one to sleep and um it was before sleep hit any of the requirements to normally get a subscribe button. So I think the subscribe button for Twitch is you gotta get around like 500 to 1,000 viewers every time you stream or something like that. And you have to have the followers already. So, um, sleep was nowhere near those qualifications. I remember that. He was like, oh yeah, that's a subscribe button. You didn't get, get yours? And I was like, oh man, I didn't know I could do that. I guess maybe Hector or Dana can actually pick it up. Like, that'd be great. Hector's a negotiator, making all the best deals. We're, we're trying to, we're, we really would like to get more FCC related sponsors because F3 kind of comes out of a world of Counter Strike and Mobos. Because that's that's where it, it all started. They were really scared. Get Zappa back when he was playing Gears of War. Wow, you've known Zappa for a long time, huh? Gears of like the first Gears of War. I remember that. It was it was a good game. 
Like, I, I had a lot of fun. I used to play shooters competitively, like, way, way, way long ago. When I was really young. Like, only, like, 14. And, um... I was pretty good at Halo 1. But then I fell off. I was... I don't know. I, I don't know how good I actually was. I think I was just, like, better than most people around me. All, like, everyone I met, even when I traveled, I was better than. Uh, friends and family and stuff like that. Because Halo was, like, a phenomenon. Like, everybody played Halo, for sure. And it was around the time that Deadly Alliance was out. So I was playing, like, Halo and Deadly Alliance, like, every day. That was the life. That was the, that was the jet life. For sure. Man, online wants to take forever. Okay. We got another St. Patty's Day shenanigan. This hooligan. Wonder who he plays, what character. Hopefully something Try fun. Try it. Yeah. The cyber sub. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay. Cyber Sub Zero is probably best robot. I don't know. Him or Cyrax both seem like pretty ridiculous um, at first glance. Maybe there's more to figure out, but I can tell you the damage scaling doesn't make any sense. For the DLC characters that didn't get any, no damage scaling for them. They just got to do 60 plus, 60 plus whatever. 70% combos and stuff for the DLC, like nothing scaling. Oh man, if he knew to jump kick, that, that was a good for that. That was one of the only options he had. It messes everyone's makeups up. It's not some nerds. He likes shooters more. Oh, since the MK is only fighting right. They give KI a shot. My experience with KI is just as a viewer right now. I haven't actually played KI enough. I've played like the tutorial, like the tutorial when it first came out. I've never actually played matches. And um, I, uh, I never got like super interested in it. I don't know why. I should have. But I think it, oh, I just didn't have an Xbox 360. And then eventually I got to use my younger brothers if you want KI. But yeah, when you don't have the system to play it, it was it was kind of shitty. So that's why I think that they made it come out on PC. Uh, that way, more people can play it. That's, that's what's going to be happening for season three, hopefully. Do you, um, Fierce? Do you follow Sleep at all? F3 Sleep or Hollywood Sleep? He's our our KI player for Flipside Tactics. He's super good at KI. I think he's won like. He's won like the most majors, um, definitely the most majors this year, but definitely won the most majors out of a KI player. Faction battle. He just has been doing so well with uh, Conra and Arya. And uh, he can even play Glacius too. I think when KI, oh yeah, when KI was out and Justice was still out and I was getting close to the prime my prime level of injustice with Green Lantern, so that's another reason I, I wasn't playing it. And then it just got way past me. Everyone else started getting so good, knowing all this stuff, and I was like, wow. It would take me a lot to try to learn all that and catch up with them, so I may just chill. Yeah. You would I like Street Fighter Five though, Fierce. Fight. Sub Zero again. This is where we're gonna live. We're gonna learn to love the Sub Zero matchup. Somehow we're gonna do it. We're gonna spit it away. Spit that out. Forget about it. What? Oh my gosh, please let me convert for real. Yeah, this gonna spin away. Oh 
man, I should have dashed there. I thought he was gonna get more frustrated and like start jumping towards me, which he's kind of doing. Oh, what? <laughs> what? The jump over quitality? That was kind of tight. Why, why would you quit right there? It was, it was almost over. I don't get that. Okay. Found certain uh, characters. The inputs are stiff, especially when you play Nightwing. Reason why I dropped them. Yeah, Nightwing combos were actually kind of hard if you were doing the the optimal ones. That would, they were very hard. I I think uh, Emperor Merc was one of the best Nightwings, as, as well as uh, Lord of the Fly and uh, Cass. Cass was really good Nightwing. Faction battle. The Prince. Maybe he's a Kung Lao player. I, I don't actually mind Nimble against Kung Lao. I think Nimble's fine. I wouldn't. I would typically wouldn't want to use Nimble against uh, Scorpion anyway. Nimble's great for Scorpion. You like? Yeah. You know, I liked Raven too. I played her a little bit, especially because she was like one of GL's hardest matchups. I had to mess around with her, and I played her like casually against. Uh, Dark 55 and some of the other guys like locally never in tournament awesome. Round one, fight. This guy had a lot of wins I can't remember what his rank was and he's, he's pretty good he's, he's like respect and stuff he's playing rank a little bit too respectful Now he's, it looks, I don't know, dropping combos, approaching 100 MS captain. But, but, you know, he's, he's starting to get a little bit frustrated, I think. This guy's not a bad player, it's just like he's still learning. That kind of thing is part of super unsafe. See why I do it right. A lot of times they put up and they let me hit him down and I get a force ball out. And then they plug their... This guy is really plugging his... Uh... He's going to go to Wi-Fi. They, they used to call that, uh, standby. Like, standby somebody, I remember that? People would try to play Halo 2 online with them, and they, when they were getting killed or their team was about to lose, they would just like unplug their router and it would reset, and everybody would freeze, and they could go like capture the flag four more times and win real quick. So stupid. Games have come a long way since that, since old Halo 2 glitches with the lag. That's for sure. Much, much more developed. Still takes a while to find people online, but I know there's a lot. I'm not sure what the problem is with that. But other than that, like the games have come so far with their online capabilities. I mean, especially when you look at a console like the Nintendo DS. <laughs> you, you're um, yeah. But well, anyway, the Nintendo DS, like it um, has Wi-Fi, connects with anybody like around the world. That's crazy. Like all it has to do is bounce off your Wi-Fi, and the connections are actually really good. Because I play Monster Hunter with people from all over the country and world. Like we, I played with some like Scottish guy or British guy or something. Me and my cousin Keisha. Hey, you say you have a lot of friends who are diehard Street Fighter fans, but they don't like Street Fighter Five. That's kind of weird. Because a lot of Street Fighter fans really do like Street Fighter V, and they play it regardless. Like as far as the tournament guys that I know, they're like, "Of course we're gonna play it," because it's the next Street Fighter game. But um, yeah, I've heard that too. That a lot of people like Four more still, 
But I think that's going to die out. Because, dude, five is better than four. Like, five, for sure, because of how broken focus attacks were in four and how annoying that was. Like, and some of the other things that four had, it was just like, come on, the tier gaps were, were huge. And in Street Fighter V, they're... The characters are a lot more balanced already. Um, they they just like have good tools that make sense. Um, the the new V V skill system is great. Like all all really good things. Like Street Fighter Five did so much right, and it's such a good game. I'm gonna start streaming it too. I <laughs> I hope you guys want to watch Street Fighter. I know most of most of the people that follow me. Hey, thanks uh, Crown Forever for the follow. Most of the people, you guys are like, that you're watching, you're, you're like MK fans, right? Like, you guys, you, you come to my channel because, oh, he, he's a reptile guy, like he plays MK. You don't, you don't normally come here for, nobody would like come to me for Street Fighter advice. I don't think, anyway. It'd be cool if you wanted to, like, because I do know a, a good amount about Street Fighter, but nobody just would give me the credit because I, I didn't really play it in tournament. So I don't really have any placings for it. Yeah, yeah, the, the price, for sure. Like, and Capcom releasing it as early as they did. I, I feel you, for sure, Fierce. Like, that, them putting it out that early was at, is mainly because of Capcom Cup. Like, they wanted to start Capcom oh, Cup at a certain time. So Street Fighter V had to come out earlier than expected. That's that's really what happened, to be honest with you. So like, a lot of people are mad saying Street Fighter V isn't a complete game, but just wait. Like they're completing it as you, as the days go. Like you'll wake up one day and look at the updates you got for Street Fighter V, and it's gonna have all this crazy stuff. Free, you know. They're they're putting it in. They're just working on it still. Oh, it's gonna have a bunch of new characters. And, Sword mode is going to be better. And, uh, all kinds of things. Melina players, like. Melina players, oh my gosh, that crossed my inputs up or something. But a lot of Melina players, they just seem like they, they want to go nuts. Like, they want to just teleport and, and do all that. And I guess, like, that's kind of her play style. Like, she kind of goes big, goes home with those low mix-ups, like the low to the possible low, low, or low overhead, because she'll cancel into her roll. And that's like one of the best things about it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I hit that off. That's like the slowest overhead in the world. I think I was just like being... Sometimes I'm just really just sitting there holding down. It's really not right. Made the lows. As far as the strings go. Yep, trying to press something. It's not gonna be a nice controller. I'm gonna yeah, oh wow. I can't believe that that's so dumb. Why does that let me get hit by it? Whatever. When a guy like Maximilian quit playing Street Fighter Pills, the update came out, you know the content was poor. Yeah, that's I, I didn't think about that. Um that is true. Max I remember Max being really upset. Because he wanted to stream a lot of Street Fighter V first thing, but he's actually really Maximilian really likes Ki. Like Killer Instinct is like his favorite fighter out of all of them. That's it's like for sure. Because I talked to him about it. He was at Killer Instinct World Cup, and of course my teammate Sleep was there, and I was there because I live in Texas, and it was in held in San Antonio, so I just kind of drove down. And everybody else flew in, you know, from the flip side Action people from New York, all those guys. Um, well, it was just, I guess it was just Dana and, and Hector and another guy that, yeah, I know. Yeah, he worked on KI, and he, he, you should see he has a big KI collection. Like, he's been a big fan of, of Killer Instinct, like, since the old ones, and has, like, all kinds of Leather stuff. Face. They call this cool memorabilia that he, uh, him and another collector were showing off at the World Cup. They have, like, this whole bunch of cool stuff, like, all the comics, all the the magazine articles and figures and stuff like that like they had all kinds of crazy stuff keychains and all that stuff that they did back in the 90s like send you in the mail get a keychain mkx logo you know something like that 
Round one. All right, so this guy, it's, it's killer stance, so you definitely want to try to stay out from it. He only has a few moves that actually, oh my gosh, the lag is real. He only has a few moves that actually help him uh, deal with Reptile at the mid-far to far range. From the, this range and further out, it's going to be hard for him. So I'm going to try to stay in that range. So that's that's where you want to stay if you want to make sure that you have you give the player the hardest time. And you can do it if you're a zoning master. That's how that works. Round two, fight. So you're you're zoning master right now. He's trying to jump into force boss. He's tempted. They look delicious. He wants to get hit with some pressure as a force boss coming towards him. He gets opened up with low to grab. Still scared of the force boss, of course. Meanwhile, I'm approaching my third bar meter. Oh, he wakes up. He wakes up with the commentary. Oh yeah, still plenty of here. Mainly block overheads on this guy. I know he has like a four three, I think this is low. But mainly overheads with one block uh push down killer. They do like one two all the time. One two cancel into their whatever. They'll do like one two, cancel into um unblock roll or the the mid chainsaw or the um the, the canceling back into it or something, you can kind of use it in pressure a little bit. It's pretty cool. I'll be right back, guys.
Round one, fight! Sorry, I was on mute. Once again, just a total idiot. I'm, on, I'm the FBI, the full blown idiot. Squad. Rolling through. With my gun The best hits. <laughs> Some of the hottest singles were recorded on me. Hey, this is how you set up for a wake up. Really. Oh no. I was gonna go uh, slow force ball, I don't know. Just like press the button. It's right in here. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, you can still. Stupid. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, uh. So. What am I talking about? I totally forgot. Something about. Oh, Nimble. Nimble Reptile. That's what I was saying. I was just like. It, it feels so good when Nimble Reptile's doing the things that you want him to do, and he's he's able to play a matchup where he gets like free force balls out, or like spit enders where he can uh, activate the basket mode without any meter. Burritos, what's up, bro? Thanks for the follow. Thanks a lot, man. Do any of you guys actually? Do you guys play Killer Instinct? Because I, I kind of want to know, and I haven't asked to sleep this. But what character in Killer Instinct is the closest to Reptile? And, and thinking of that, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of Pokin right now because Sceptile. What's the closest character to Reptile? Pokin is probably Sceptile. I mean, he's he can he has like dash. He has so many things like Reptile. He's like got dash. He's got like force balls, like force ball setups and stuff. Like Sceptile is really tight. I'm gonna show you guys. Like I'm I'm like getting really good at Pokin, <laughs> and I'm gonna show you like. I know it's kind of cheesy because it's stupid ass Pokemon, but like, uh, it's it's so fun, and the mechanics of it are like a dumbed down version of Tech and with, with two modes, like a, a zoning mode and like a, a fighting mode like this, you know, like full phase or field phase. Like it's pretty. Cool. Okay, so Duelist Liu Kang has never. Giving anybody problems, right? For some reason, and, I, and he's staying in the white stance. I think the the dark stance is where you want to be because that that gives you the the setups. But the setups are just not that good, uh, or they weren't until they got buffed. I think your friends playing Pokemon. That hey, Pierce, does, does your friend like it, or is he kind of just like whatever? It's a dumb Pokemon game. Super Nintendo, Wii U bullshit. Like, having to, you have to buy like two Wii U consoles and two monitors and the game twice to play two player. Without somebody playing on screen that has a 30 FPS and then somebody else gets to play on a monitor as long as they have a special controller to do it. What the hell is that? Nintendo's trying to figure out a way to like sneak their way into the back of the market. Oh no. Could have punished that jump and I didn't do anything. Oh, but a godlike setup. You know, he's got those. And then, of course, you get the favorite fatality. It's the best. I think this is it's the most cinematic, so that's why I like it. A lot, but um, it's it just has the the most to it. I like it. it. It totally gives me a new feel for the level because the level to me is just like a you know busted up dock or cove or whatever they want to call it, where there's just dead bodies floating around. And, you know, it must have been a war zone or something. But to think, oh, actually, there's a big Kraken thing underneath there, like one of the most, you know, rare animals is like living underneath that dock, and it you never see any signs of tentacles, I don't think, before, and now all of a sudden it's it's living underneath there, so it makes me feel like, you know, different about the stage for some reason. It's like it's even scarier. 
I have no water. And I have to fight a sub zero. What a. Oh. Is it a Kenshi? Maybe Kenshi. Alien. Nope, stick with the Civic Alien. Sonic Fox proved it. It's the best character in the game, right? <laughs> stick with Alien. Whatever. He seems to. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, he's one of those guys who plays Smash competitively. Can never get uh, into the full fully in the MKX. Um, yeah, I kind of played Smash Bros. 4 when it first came out. I was trying to get into it because MKX wasn't out yet. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, these characters are kind of cool. They're, they're different. Um, I'm trying to play it with some of my friends. They don't really like the game. And eventually, they said they would play it, and they didn't. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to play it. So, that was Smash Bros. But, uh, for, uh, as far as... Token, uh, like, yeah, I mean, I know it is part of the Nintendo community. I think a lot of Nintendo guys will play it to play Smash Bros. But I think, really, if you have some Tekken knowledge, you can be good at the game. Like, the Tekken players are going to be the best at Pokemon Because they they already understand so much about what that cool phase, whatever you're up close to fighting, is like. Because it's almost like it has some Tekken neutral in there. Slightly. It, it has that slower normals and stuff, so you have to like, be really careful if you swing or not. Type of movement. Oh, there's a low. Oh, oh he, there's an overhead thing at the end of the record, too. Tarkatan's really good. Maybe, what do you guys think? Do you think Tarkatan's better or Acidic is better? Because I, like, Dragon is great with Tarkatan already, and Sonic Fox played Tarkat and some, uh, so I know he knows it's good. Although he used Acidic to win the uh, final round against Dragons Tarkat, I still think that uh, that Tarkat might be best. In my opinion. Yeah, cause, like, Acidic, well, I don't know. It's hard, because Acidic, if you think about how much chip damage Acidic does, it's probably more than Tarkat. Because you can do block strings into putting the puddle down and then another block string and stuff like that. Because they're scared that you might armor or you, you, you know, you got options. But, um, hmm. Tarkatan's just like trickier though. Like, trickier and like can be a little bit safer, I feel like. It's stupid because of the damage, yeah. It is. Like, acidic damage, and along with, like I say, with all the DLC characters. All of their damage is not scaled. I don't know what happened. Why? Why is Baracho doing like 68 plus? Like that? That isn't okay with like any characters that you made before. Unless it was Blood God Kodal. Like that. That was like the only thing, and that's like an exception because it has to be an item out first before you can even do that. Do you guys feel like you know what? I feel like NRS players that complain about MKX, everyone wants to talk about how bad they are, right? They're like, oh man, like people from other games are like, NRS players are so, uh, you know, such babies and they complain about everything and like they're, you know, they don't even give their game a chance before they're complaining or whatever. Well, that's, that's totally BS because that is not true at all for any NRS players I really know. But also, um, Street Fighter players are just as bad at talking about what's cheap and what needs buffed and all this. You, you should scared? see the Street Fighter V talk, and I'm talking like legends that have played Street Fighter forever are talking like this about Street Fighter V. So you can't tell me the NRS players are like babies or something like that. Like Street Fighter players are trying to get babies by Capcom just as much, trying to fish out as many unnecessary buffs as possible. Whatever. It's just a fighting game. Like, yeah. like people just need to chill out sometimes. Like, it, chill out. It's a fighting game. Learn how to play it for a while, and then we'll figure out what needs nerfed or buffed. I, I think, and then the game ends up lasting longer. If you patch it every other month, eventually you get done patching it, and then it's like, well, nobody wants to play it anymore because it sucks on its final patch. But the reason Street Fighter Four lasted so long. Is their patches were like years apart sometimes, 
So that makes the game last a whole other year. Like you have, you know, you you do have something to look forward to in a year because you know your game is still being supported. Like that's the way I wish NRS would go. I wish like the I wish Mortal Kombat 11 or Mortal Kombat 12 was just like here to stay for the next eight Action years, battle. and there will be upgrades or whatever. But that that's that's how you make a game last and and get hugely popular because it's the same game for so long. Riptide, the, right so the game just gets more more and more popular, and then it starts having to be circulated again because it sells like all of its normal copies, you know, the first few weeks. But then a year later, when people want to buy it, the Capcom is like, "Oh damn, we better start making more of them." Um, shocked more people are not giving Jason a shout out to the buffs. I hear that Jason is really good, man. I'm, I'm surprised too. Like, my buddy Dark Fifty Five tried him out and was like, "Damn, he's really good." But we didn't actually like, play against each other very much. I want to play him. That's over. Yeah, I know. So, I gotta think for a second. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, pretty much what I was saying is in 12, like in Mortal Kombat 12, if they did something like that, it should just be the game. Like, it is the game, and it gets characters added to it every year, or something like that. You would never complain about, oh man, Fujin's not in the game, or oh man, I really wish we would have got rain, but now, you know, we're done with the DLC. That's uh, like, instead of that, it would be like, well, maybe in a year, you will get rain. You will get Fujin. You probably will. Then that would be just the best. You can never go wrong with something like that. That's how you actually get good at something. Whenever a game can last that long, you really get good at it. Most of us don't even know what it's like to play a Mortal Kombat game for more than a year and a half. A year and a half, maybe two, and then we're like, whatever, I'm done with this one. And that's not cool. Right. If, instead of just making a new one. It must be a funny deal too, though. With Warner, probably, they won't release an entire new title every year, possibly. They do like their trilogies and... Reptile, million, geez, fatality. million movies about Batman, all the same thing, all the same time period. Um, okay, look at Melina players talking about how unsafe she is when people like Saltface and Foxy show how good Batman 2 is for a person she became so good, especially after buffs to her size. Yeah, yeah, fierce, I know. Like, Melina is such a great zoner. I, me and, um, me and Pig saw that at uh, final round. Um, me and Peanut were trying to coach Pig through the match with Saltface, and Faction he saw with Kinshi that he he actually will block uh, Psy and then try to do if he tries to do a move he'll get tele kicked. There's enough time for the, the tele kick to King, to come out and punish him. That, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Melina is really good. Mm -mm. Melina is, is, and yeah, back one too, it's, you really can't do anything about it because afterwards she's so far back. It's really hard to deal with. From what I remember, like, kind of looking at it as soon as, yeah, like as soon as Foxy was, was using her, I was looking at it. I don't really study this game as much as I should, though. If I wanted to do better at tournaments, I, I would need to spend a lot more time studying and probably, uh, probably playing more online to get used to more matchups and how everybody might play the character instead of just how a certain player plays the character. Because there's some people that play like like Blood God Total in two different ways. Like there's some like offensive Blood God Totals that are just going for stupid like green damage setups and sometimes they actually get them. And then there's like super defensive Blood God Totals where like Every every time they get a chance, they like put down the armor uh, talon, like the less damage talon, and throw a sunlight on. And, you know, kind of do what I call setting up camp. That's that's really good for total. Gosh, I can't believe this is again. 
this. I don't know how many times I've not punished Johnny Cage's stupid kid evil in the It's just stupid playing on everything. So I don't know if I, I don't care if I have a problem punching it off. I really haven't. Well, I'm being really respectful on the pressure here. There's a lot of horror in the world of Oh, planning to walk over here. Got to kill. Another reason I really like to set it is, is the back three into the invisibility, of course. Like, you know how safe that is and how good that is. I just believe most of the players are brain dead and go for that role too much. Yeah, and sometimes they win and sometimes they don't type thing. That's, I, I, yeah, I see what you're saying. Some Molinas probably do thrive off of that, because it is a 50-50, and if they know they're one combo, then they can get really good damage from it. With meter or without, you can confirm the low... They can confirm some strings into the roll, so... You get a bunch of meterless damage. Cryo sub. See, I, I've come to find that Cryo Sub Zero is one of the most popular online characters because I played on Xbox and um, on PS4, and I've seen so many Cryo Sub Zeros since that the two-in-one buff to where he could like get a lot more damage and cancel the daggers. Dagger. For the Lin Kuei. I love him. I love Cryo. Round one. Fight. Uh, there's that back 2 4 two, one habit, but if somebody doesn't know the reptile matchup, that's like one of the first things we're going to see. You kind of get to do that in three. You got all the meter, what's he going to do with it? Hopefully not use it this round. Okay, good. If he would have broke, I would have been mad. Round two. Fight. Actually, you can definitely play Zone Rose for his cryo. Why do you, why do you guys always wake up blind? Why? You, I don't get it. Why do you do that? Sub Zero has like a near safe wake up with the ice shadow. Why would you just do that? That I'm talking about it, I'm going to say wake up like that. No armored wake ups like that. Wouldn't that be good if Dash had armor on it? Me and Red Dash? That would be nice because then you would actually get the combo out of some of your punishes. Imagine that. When your best, sometimes your best punishes are to just slide somebody or, or Reptilian Dash or Meter Run Slide. Like. I can't believe how people get upset with that. It's like, that doesn't do any damage. I noticed you... When you go from back one, when you cancel to like that, I know there's a gap to... It can armor out, but it does mess with people. Yeah, yeah. I sometimes do back one and back two. I do that a lot um, once I get more comfortable with the opponent that I'm fighting. Because I, I like to notice that they don't want to poke as often, so you can actually do highs to them. But whenever uh, I'm playing somebody online, I just kind of, I just feel it out differently. I just straight up start with like Ford fours and see what do they do about Ford four one stuttered, and uh, do they block overhead a lot, so I can go for lows, that sort of thing. Do they not know what they're doing? I'm dashing over them and corpse hopping, and they don't know how to wake up at all. That's always a good sign. The player doesn't know about that. So it went slasher. Slasher. Oh, oh yeah. Some weird. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Getting this weird freestyle on the convert here. Yep. See, so yeah, I stepped back to make sure I wouldn't get touched by it at all. And then it broke the armor. Of course, the second part of that. 
Oh, man. Oh, I know that's not right. I just like pushed the button or something. Let's get that lag. Yeah. That's totally what I wanted. I just wanted to see the video as fast as well, right in his face and pressure. Wow. That's a plus, too. Like that, that jump four, it's plus where at the height that I did it, and it wouldn't let my next move come out. Final round, fight! But I just hit. Whenever, whenever you go into this next round and you have all this meter and you've like lost, you've already won one, you know it makes the red pack feel real good to like start around with this much pressure. It means a lot for us. Like I'm still super confident that I'm going to win this like it's, I'm going to still, I can zone, I, I can kind of do whatever I want. Because I've got two bars of meter. I can even go for one of the stuff right now that needs to die. Start doing that. I'm feeling so confident I'd waste. Yeah. I'll just waste my bar because well, why not? Just get out zone. Reptile um, wins. You now basically all the combos have been uh, my defense is hor is not good. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, it's it's hard. Like as reptile players we face a lot of aggressive tactics that we want to do. We want to wake up a lot with meter run slide. Um, we're very aggressive in pressure most of the time. Doing things that are like negative seven and then still throwing armor afterwards. Faction and that that can definitely be broken by a lot of characters. Um, but yeah, it's hard. It's really hard to, to change how you play Reptile. I think that's the way that he's meant to be played. Like super Challenge offensive, accepted. honestly super aggressive in your face doing things that are punishable they wanted him to be crazy like that Riptide, Aaron Black. but um with deceptive i feel like you can be <laughs> what's up uh professor man well, i haven't talked to you in a long time what's good man Kyle, we gotta play more. I I need to play online more. I, I love it with the new rollback. This is so good. Round one, fight. An Aaron Black that probably wants to try to zone with me a little bit. No, <laughs> not into it. Damn it, I ran out of I ran out of juice. Oh man, of course, of course the overhead. What? It's still let it somehow do block oh, it Felt weird, I could feel the hit. Could you not see me? Round two. Man, uh Professor, how's that Takeda coming? You still liking Takeda? Maybe another variation? I know they all kinda got messed with. Not blocking the low, because I'm so tired. Low head, low. Come on. Oh, Rodian, pick it up. Pick up the pace. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, you don't want to break. Oh. You didn't want to get the slide blocked either. You're just chilling. Alright guys, I think I'm going to head out. I'm really, really tired. Riptile, Hope you enjoyed the stream though. Thanks thanks everyone for showing up and chilling with me talking about some movies, you know. And uh, thanks for the follows, everyone. I'll catch you guys later.